everyone. How are y'all doing? My name is Aisha and this is my newest YouTube segment called Gardening with a Beauty Queen. I am your host, your gardener, and your beauty queen, Aisha. So, a little bit about me. First of all, I have been gardening off and on since 2014 and right now I'm sitting in the middle of my garden. Um, so the summer season in zone seven, I'm in South Georgia. So all you gardeners and farmers out there, you know what I'm talking about based on the almanac. Um, it is pretty much the end of the summer veggie season. So right behind me, I have a few things that are still growing. I have okra over here and then I have some tomatoes right behind me. And then I have some bell peppers back here. And then strangely enough, I have some broccoli over here in the corner. And then of course right here, so I've been, I've been recording videos ever since I started gardening, um, especially this summer season. So this summer season, I actually got about a six week late start. Um, so everything you're seeing out here right now is the result of me being a little bit late when it comes to my gardening. Um, but nonetheless, I've had a great harvest so far. Um, as the videos go by, I'm gonna make this a once a week series for you guys so you could check in and see what I've been doing. Um, what I have planned for this series, I'm going to start releasing ebooks as well because when I first started gardening, I had my grandfather, my paternal grandfather, who's no longer here with us, God rest his soul, um, who taught me pretty much everything I knew about gardening when I first got started. And if you know me, you know that I love food. I'm a southern girl, obviously, and being around food and gardening it makes it just feels like home for me and it makes me feel like I'm close to my grandparents who pretty much started this whole journey for me, who inspired me to volunteer to end hunger, who inspired me to start a garden, who inspired me to create my own organization called The Dinner Plate Project to help end hunger in my community and abroad. Um, so food is very central to who I am and I just need so like I said, look forward to some eBooks, look forward to videos coming up. I'm gonna start you guys all the way at the beginning of my summer veggie experience. Um, so you guys can look back and see my struggles, what happened, what didn't happen, what bloomed, what I ate, what we cooked up. Um, I'm gonna make this as all inclusive as I possibly can. And then of course, as those videos run out, you will start to see my winter garden experiences as well. So definitely be on the lookout for all of that. I'm very excited. If there's anything you guys want to see about gardening, definitely let me know in the comments section or reach out to me. Really quickly, just showing you how it started in the very beginning with my raised garden bed. Okay, so right here you see my okra plants. Now, this is my first time growing this variety of okra. I had no idea it was going to be this bushy. <laughs> um, it, I just had no idea. Otherwise, I wouldn't have planted them in the little cement block holes around the garden. Pardon me. Um, but basically, this okra has gotten so tall, I actually need a step stool to actually pick this okra. Because that one is definitely ready to be picked by now. Um, so, yeah, it this... this <laughs> This, guys, I literally come out here and I pick about six or seven okra each day. Literally, it's bearing like crazy right now. Um, in the back there, you see my broccoli bush. It, um, I actually thought it was dead when I first put it out here because it's really not, it's really not good for the sun. It's just, it can't bear the heat out here, but it's, it survived, I think because of the shade of the okra. Um, my beautiful marigolds. My beautiful, beautiful marigolds. Fun fact, if you didn't know, I don't know if you can hear me with the airplane coming over, you could actually eat marigolds. You can actually make them into a tea or you can actually pluck the bloom off itself and put it in a salad. Um, tomato plants right here, these are actually Roma tomato plants. They are very tall, taller than the other tomato plants I had. Um, this is my beefsteak tomato plants. These, rather, are my two beefsteak tomato plants right here. Very tall. I have some nutrient deficiencies that I need to correct on this. More about that later, of course. And then, of course, back there, you see Thank the Thank you all so much for watching the very first episode of Gardening with the Beauty well. Queen. Stay so, tuned for next week's yeah. episode. Bye!